All right. So we just wanted to take a minute there to show you guys what is possible with the NDI bridge. And the SuperJoy uniquely ha is really, I think, the only NDI enabled PTZ joystick controller. Um, so I got this uh, little diagram here. I know that's, that, that might have been a little bit of a crazy setup. So I just want to break this down for you. Essentially, when you have a network, right, a local area network, the NDI was generally first designed to work on a local area network. Your network probably has a router and the router uh, essentially is the brains of the network, right? And the router uh, essentially connects to a network switch and all of your PTZ cameras and the SuperJoy or your joystick controllers, computers, everything connects to the same network, right? But it's not generally connected all the way to another local area network. But that's what NDI Bridge will do. So NDI Bridge, you can have one host and you can have one, uh, man, I'm going to forget what it's called. I think it's called a, a client, but essentially on the far end can join the host. And so what you saw there was uh, I was hosting an NDI Bridge session. I sent the credentials to Roberto. He plugged them in and then those two networks were connected. And so I was able to search through the SuperJoy and see all of his NDI connections. He was able to control my PTZ cameras because it's a bi-directional technology. Very cool. And in this uh, setup, we're actually showing a Tally Lights controller as well. Tally Lights will also work over NDI. So I wrote a little bit about that in the unofficial guide to NDI. Thank you, Siler Tech. Uh, the unofficial guide to NDI is free and it's a great starter to learning about NDI. <laughs>